Alright guys, so this is the Hemlock MW2 Assault Rifle. And at first sight, there's nothing really special about it. It's a pretty normal AR that does normal damage, nothing out of the ordinary. But this thing has a very special ability when using the right attachments. And what I mean by the right attachments, well, I mean the incendiary ammo. Because for some reason, whenever you use that ammo, it's gonna melt mega abominations. And I'm not just saying that it does a lot of damage to them or it kills them fast. It actually melts them. Like... It almost kills them faster than the flamethrower, which is pretty insane because you have like 600 runs in the, in the magazines. And today I really want to show you this because there's not a lot of people who know about this gun and not a lot of people who actually use this weapon. So they were going to do that. And also we're going to use the Nepal mode on it because, you know, it goes really well with the incendiary ammo. And the loadout I'm going to use is going to be on the screen right now, of course. I do change up my MK3 reflector for this new glassless scope on the weekly mission and it's actually pretty nice uh but yeah today we're just gonna grind some mega donations i guess to show you how strong this is unfortunately it has a downside it doesn't work on hvt mega abominations it only works on the normal ones but you know normal ones actually drop pretty good loot most of the time so you know that's good and it actually does some pretty decent damage against the zombies so it can hold its own without any issues and if you look in my backpack i do have some goodies i'm gonna use a purple tool but anyways i'm gonna go hit a pack punch machine and uh, then we'll go hunt mega abominations all right guys so most likely we're gonna find our first mega abomination here i went ahead and got some cash because I want to pop three after this. And there he is. And keep in mind that this is Pack-A-Punch 2. And let's hit a crit spot. And the funny part is, when you stop shooting using this thing, it keeps doing damage over time. Look at that. Look how it slows, how it lowers the, the health of it. When you just keep shooting. Look at that. A magazine is like half HP already. Less than half HP. The funny part is is that it's not really breaking the head so easy. I mean, just look at this. We took down this Mega Abomination in like a mag and a half by hitting critical spots. Let's pack a punch too. I know you're going to say that uh, the Flamethrower might do better, and it might, but keep in mind that you only have 300 rounds. You do have to be point blank. And would you look at that? Another Mega Abomination popped up. And look at the overtime damage of this weapon because of the that incendiary ammo. I mean, just look at that. It's absolutely insane. It's absolutely insane that it can take down Mega Abominations like this. And I don't know why, but it only works on them. It only works on Mega Abominations. It doesn't work on Manglers or Mimics or anything like that. Look at the overtime damage. Look at that. It's just insane. And combined with the, with the Nepal mode, it's even better. And he's dead. Just like that. He's dead. And why I like this more than the than the flamethrower is because you have a lot more ammo than the flamethrower, basically. And as a main weapon, it's actually not too bad. It's it's pretty decent. But we do have enough money to pack a punch right now. And I'm going to go hit the pap machine, which is going to be right here. And also, I just realized that my containment level has been reset it again. And I was like 300 something. And I really hate this game for that. I was actually super happy with that containment level, but I'm back at zero. So I do have to grind again. Anyways, I'm going to go pack a punch and see you at another Mega Abomination. All right, there we go. Tap three. Perfect. And I'm going to go in the middle. Most of the time, there's going to be a Mega Abomination there. And this is how he's doing against zombies. So it's actually pretty nice. Not a bad gun, to be honest. And if you hit gold on it... Like, if you put the gold uh, tool on it, it's it's fantastic. Like, it, it actually melts everything. So, it's not a bad weapon overall, but it just has that really special ability against normal Mega Abomination that makes it even better. And it's funny that it works this way, because I, I tried incendiary ammo on the MW2 guns uh, to see if any other have the same effect, and it doesn't work. It just doesn't work like that. Alright, uh, apparently there's no Mega here, but I'm going to go search for one, and I'll see you guys in a second. Alright, finally, we got a Mega Abomination. There he is. So, Pack-A-Punch 3, I mean, look at that damage! We just shot a few bullets in his back. That wasn't even a crit spot. I mean, the more annoying guys are going to be the zombies, of course. Because these guys can be pretty brutal. So just give me a second to clear some of them. I really wish I had Brain Rod, though. I can turn some of these guys. But anyways, I see the crit spots. I mean, that is mad. That is mad damage. That overtime damage is just straight up ridiculous. 
stop. Come on, guys. Just give me a break for a minute. Disciple, absolutely no issues. So as you guys see, this weapon can hold its own in, in tier 3 without any problems. So, oh god. He's here. We got lasers. Which is perfect. Look at the damage. I stop shooting and he just dies. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's calm down for a second. Okay, anything good? Uh, sentry gun. Alright, I know I did say that you might get good loot from these guys. And you might. Just doesn't happen all the time. Okay, I'm gonna go search for another one. And, uh, you know, have some more fun with this weapon. Because it's, it's pretty fantastic, if you ask me. Two mags to take out the Mega Abomination? Or a mag and a half? Maybe even a mag if you hit only crit spots from up close? That's pretty, pretty insane, if you ask me. Hey, there we have him. Another Mega Abomination. Which is great. You know what? I'm gonna throw this monkey somewhere. I wanna be a bit chill. Look at this dude. Such a cool guy. I like him even more when he's dead. Alright, show me those thief buddy. So we got 90 bullets in the mag. Let's see what he can do. Head off already. Just a few shots, but that is pretty normal. And he's almost dead. Like 10% health. And he just dies. Look at that. That guy just came in and stole my, my stuff. That's pretty rude. Anyways, that was uh, that was quite nice. That was actually quite nice. It was like almost a full mag. Or a mag and like just a few more bullets, but we didn't hit all the critical spots. If you guys saw there. So definitely this weapon. Don't mess about with it. Guys, stop. As I said, again, HVTs is not going to do the same. But it's still a pretty pretty decent weapon. And you know what? Let's try to get an HVT. So I can uh, I can show you that as well. Okay, so we got a Mega HVT back there. But there's another one of these guys here. And you guys know me. I literally can't help myself. I have to take them down. There's a lot of zombies. This weapon is actually doing so good on zombies as well. Look at the overtime damage. You can see the, the hit markers on the screen. So 50 bullets against like 45% of his health. He's dead. And I had 16 more to spare. And look at that. An epic tool. This thing just melts everything. So it's a decent weapon to use normally. But then he has that that really insane damage on Megas. And it just makes me really enjoy this weapon. And look at that. Reload instant. 90 bullets in the mag. I did wish that it would have 120. But maybe that is just too much to ask. But let's go take out this mega bomb. Alright, I'm gonna call in a juggernaut because I do have two of them. But before I, I use that, I wanna shoot it a bit with my gun so I can show you that it doesn't do the same amount of damage. I mean, look at that. It's pretty decent damage for a weapon. But it doesn't have the same effect. Maybe it's because the Megas have more health or something like that. But nonetheless, if you're not using this solely for the incendiary ammo, you can still go to work with it. Like, it will have no issue taking down HVTs. That's right, you're mad. There we go. He did. And we get dead wire. Yay. Fantastic. Alright, I want to kill one more Mega Bomb. And I think that will be just enough. Just enough for this video. Like, I, I killed a bit too many. And you know what? Imagine this with insta-kill. Let's see if I'm lucky and uh, I can get over that building. And maybe there's a mega there. Maybe get some shots on it. I never really find mega abominations here for some reason. They're like super rare. Yeah, there's no mega, unfortunately. Alright, let's go search for one. Hey, we have one. There he is. There's the big guy. Uh, let me clear some of these zombies. This area, it's pretty hectic when it comes to zombies. Alright, come here, dude. Let's dance a bit. 
Look at that. Head off. And he's already less than half HP. Chillax. Get the crit spots. And he's dead in like... 40 bullets? That's pretty crazy. 40 bullets for like 50% of a Mega Bomb's hell, uh, head. Uh, I mean, not even head. Just... We took down half of his health with 40 bullets. My math was like really bad there. But yeah, I think I think you guys kind of get the point. This thing, it's, it's freaking ridiculous. And you should really, really give it a go. Like I would highly advise you guys use this weapon. It's super fun. And it can hold its own against zombies as well. So if you want to use this, you know, for everything, go ahead. It's going to be good. If you slap a legendary tool on this, it's going to be even better. If you use mags of holding on this, well... You don't have to worry about mega bombs, I guess. But yeah, I think this is going to be it for, for this video. I kind of showed you guys what this weapon can do. And... You know, I'll let you guys be the judge of this. I'll let you be the judge of this. I know there's going to be people who are going to say that the flame flamethrower is still better and stuff. And it might be. It might do more damage, especially against the zombies, like it zaps them instantly. But keep in mind that this weapon has 600 something bullets. But yeah, the flamethrower is definitely better than HVTs than, uh, than anything else. But you only have 300 rounds. They they go by super fast. And then you have to refill the ammo caches. So, I don't know. As I said, I'll let you guys be the judge of this. For now, I'm going to go exfil. And you know, guys, make sure you smash the like button. Subscribe for more content. And I guess I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.